Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I was going to add this into one of those videos of failures but I decided that this chap deserved a video of his own because I'm going to do a little bit of research for you. So ladies and gentlemen, Denise would like to introduce you to that household name, that well-known producer of cinematic extravaganzas, Spencer Phelps. Hello Denise, he said. Nice meeting you. Hi, she said. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing? he asked. I'm very well, thanks, said Denise. Nice to hear, he said. Where are you chatting from, Denise? I'm in Guildford, she said. Where are you? Fort Wayne, he said. Where's that? asked Denise. Illinois, USA. Oh, OK, said Denise. I'm in England. Oh, nice, he said. What's the time over there? It's 11pm, said Denise, and time I went to bed. Oh, he said, it's 6.13 here. You're five hours ahead. And so Denise went to bed. Hello, he said the next day. How are you doing? Tell me who you are, please, asked Denise. So far, all you said is that you live in Fort Wayne. Oh, he said, what do you want to know about me, my friend? You can ask me and I will answer you. Why did you send me a friend request? She asked. Came across your profile, a suggested friend. That's why. And I felt we could be friends. Ah, oh, how old are you? And what do you do? Asked Denise. I'm 52 years old. I'm a movie director. How about you? I'm 76 and retired, said Denise. I was an accountant. What kind of movies do you make? Filmography, he said. Wow! 76 is a huge figure of years spent on Earth. Denise couldn't think of a suitably pissy reply, so she ignored him. What's filmography? she asked. List of film directed by a director. I do make fantasy movie. Not sure about making fantasy movies, but he certainly lives in a fantasy world. OK, said Denise. Can you see them in a cinema? Yes, you can, he said. Ooh, said Denise. Which films have you directed? Betrayed Charlie Brown, he said. That's a fantasy movie, asked Denise. I've not heard of it. When was it released? 2016, he said. Some of my information are personal. Don't get me wrong, please. No, let's not get you wrong, mate. Let's look up Betrayed Charlie Brown, 2016. That well-known movie. First of all, I went to Google and I typed in Betrayed Charlie Brown, surrounding the phrase with quotation marks, which forces Google to look for the exact phrase. There were two results. One was a rather weird blog post, and this first one, IMDB, the website for all things film related. It took me to the biography of an actor called Spencer Morgan, and tells me that in 2016, he played a character called Charlie Brown in a TV series called Betrayed. It also tells me that he acted in all of one episode. Now, back to our man. Haven't you made any films since 2016? Asked Denise. I have, he said. What do you mean by don't get me wrong, please? Asked Denise. But it's not a fantasy movie, he said. Nor is Charlie Brown, said Denise. What do you mean? he asked. It's not a fantasy movie, is it? said Denise. Yes, he said. It's not. Do you want to see other movies? OK, said Denise. What kind of movie is it? Yes, which other movies have you directed? Nowhere to Run, 1999, he said. Denise sent him a smiley face. What? he asked. Is what? The name of a film? said Denise. I mean, what? replied our man. Why the emoji? Why not? asked Denise. Should I have said a sad face because you directed a film? Hello, Ellie said. You're funny. Thanks. Are you going to tell me some of the other films you've directed? she said. I won't send any emojis this time. And before he continues with his impressive filmography, let's take a look at that film. Nowhere to run to, 
that he claims to have directed in 1999. And here we are, back on IMDb again. It's an adult movie, and the director was Ken Scott. I'll let you decide for yourselves whether or not that might make it a fantasy movie. And man's impressive filmography continued. OK, he said, Columbiana, 1986. What else? asked Denise. Ali, 1987, he said. You've only directed four movies in your career. Up to 15, he said. And now let's look at those two movies. He claims to have directed Columbiana in 1986. It's currently 2022. So I think that means that that movie was made 36 years ago. Remember, our man has told us that he's 52. He would have been 16 in 1986. I guess they start them young as film directors these days. The only reference I can find to Columbiana 1986 is a painting by a Colombian artist called Fernando Botero. It's a great fun painting. Sadly, I won't reproduce it here because the lady's not wearing very much. But look it up for yourself. IMDb did find a film called Columbiana, which was made or released in 2011. That was directed by Olivier Megaton. Moving onwards, I tried searching for a film called Ali from 1987. IMDb found this film, Ali, released in 2001, about the boxer Muhammad Ali, starring Will Smith. But when I asked IMDb for an alphabetical list of films that were released in 1987, the spot where Ali should be was sadly lacking. Back to our man, he's just told Denise that he'd made up to 15 movies. I guess up to 15, there's going to be either 14 or 15. What was your first film as a director? Denise asked him. Here, he said, quoting Nowhere to Run in 1999. And it soon became very clear that basic maths wasn't one of our man's skills. Oh, said Denise, you said you did Columbiana in 1986 and Ali in 1987. To which our man replied, yes. So, which was your first film? asked Denise. That was officially my first movie, he said. You do know that 1986 was 13 years before 1999, said Denise. Which was officially your first movie? Nowhere to run, 1999. Like I said, this, he said. So you didn't direct Columbiana in 1986 or Ali in 1987, tried Denise. And if you've watched enough of my videos... You might be able to guess our man's reply. You're getting me wrong, he said. OK, said Denise. Get me right then. LOL, he said. Not funny, said Denise. Did you direct Columbiana in 1986? Yes, Denise, he said. So, was that your first movie? He said. I didn't call it my movie because we were much. I just told you my first movie. What does that mean? asked Denise. To which her man replied, The Crew. OK, said Denise. Let's do this in baby steps, shall we? One, did you direct Columbiana in 1986? Yes or no? Her man replied, Yes. OK, said Denise. Two, you do know that 1986 was 13 years before 1999. That man replied, yes. Excellent, said Denise. Three, what was the first movie you worked on? How many times will I repeat myself, said our frustrated scammer. I don't know, said Denise. So far, we've got back to 1986. Was Columbiana the first movie you worked on? There might have been something else before 1986. I know. Let's make it easy. The penny started to drop. Are you trying to tell me I don't know what I'm saying? Or what? Said our man, who clearly had no idea what he was saying. Which year did you start working in the movie industry? Asked Denise. I'm trying to work out what on earth you are saying. When did you start working in the movie industry? Which year? Our man 
sensing defeat, blocked Denise. I hope you enjoyed the tall tales of this rather challenged scammer. If you did, please like it. Please share this video. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in another video.